Welcome back, back, ladies, gentlemen, and people of all gender. gender presentations. We are now starting Ethan's sixth chapter. There are other sixth chapters. Huh? I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> all right. In a galaxy, Opening. Which... Skip over at this point. Chapter 6 Captives of Motube. We can all read. Now, just real quick here, we'd just like to take a moment to honor all those who lost their lives on September 11th, 2001. And also to honor all of the innocent lives uh, who that were lost in the, uh, well, quite frankly, invasion afterwards. War on Terror, my ass. But anyway. Your next destination is Motu. Make sure you study up on it before you leave. Right. Master, um, we haven't seen Karen around anywhere. Yes, I know. Karen is still under the care of the communion of Garov. Alrighty. I don't get it. What could be taking her so long? She has cancer. Yeah. And lupus. Who's gonna be our instructor? Don't worry, they brought in the best. Right now. Dr. House. But we're short on people, so it hasn't been easy. I'll contact you soon. Be ready to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, makes you wonder if we'll ever get to see Karen again. Don't say that. That that's the quickest way to draw in plotline deaths. <laughs> Three days later, we're still on the loading screen. something in games like this where you can change your clothes I think it'd be this may sound a little bit weird but I think it'd be interesting if you could you know have like full customization over it like if I don't know you wanted to sack your pants and show their underwear for that and use do that style well the problem is that's very um, very tricky to do the easiest solution of course would be to um, you know just like, have a set of just because the way they, they do this is each item has a specific interaction with the model, the player model. And that kind of interaction, that kind of customization would be ex would take a very long time to perform, or to program, and would also... Well, another thing is, the more complex the programming, the more glitches it's going to have, and bugs. You know, like, what I was thinking of is that you could choose... Oh hey, I want to put, I want to have the pants right below the boxers, or something like that. Well, and you could choose their placement and the uh, across the whole leg part. Yeah, sure, be great, but that was my idea at least. Yeah, sure, people could go for that kind of customization, but the problem is that it's just so it would be way too time consuming for a system built for well. It honestly would be rather expensive for stuff that... Yeah. But not even fully on that, even, even if they could make it a little bit more natural, like sometimes people's underwear show, but it's not intentional. Yeah, well, the, the, as, I was, as I've been trying to say, the, the easiest way to do that would be just to have each separate clothing item, like here we have all of these different clothing items. Um, you mean like instead of you choosing where to go, it... They have a clothing item specifically to show underwear off or something? Yeah, basically. 
I don't think anything is compatible with what Ethan is currently wearing, because it's a complete outfit. sets, but it's, I honestly feel like it's more fun to do, to mix and match, you know? You mean say Yaga, Fast, Innocent Slacks, and, uh, Speeder Shoes? Yeah. I, whenever I've customized my characters, both online and offline, I've always, uh, stick, st stuck to the same thing across. But that's, honestly, that's kind of boring, don't you think? Well, they're specifically designed so that they go with each other. Well, yeah, but you can find all kinds of interesting combinations otherwise. I'm sure yeah, there's a bunch of other places with different clothing options available on different planets. Ethan's now a jockey! Shh, okay then. We've accomplished that. What do we do? Uh. When in doubt, Guardians Headquarters. I played Dr. Lantel on Despair as I skipped on the Dark's fifth chapter of Evolution. I skipped a bunch of texts at the when they were talking at the beach and I had no idea where to go. Okay, and back we go. Right. You go. 
right there. Yo, Huga. Ethan, late as usual. Sorry, I was late. Bye, sucker. Ah. Huh? Ethan, look at yourself. Huh? Ah. Could be worse. At least he still got a shirt. He stole my nano transformer. Hey, you! Get back! Here. Actually, it wouldn't be so bad even without a shirt. It'd be the worst if it had been his pants, his uh, underwear too, or whatever those That's are. True. <laughs> what are those supposed to be anyway? Gym clo gym slacks or something? I don't know. So catch the pickpocket. Yeah. You got back what you wanted. Now just let me go. No, I don't think so, little twerp. I'm taking you straight to the coast. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a moment. That's about enough. It's you. <laughs> Long time no see. Dang it, Leo! You said you'd stop him. Now one of my arms is longer than the other. <laughs> That's not possible, sorry, sorry. man. Ethan, he's one of us. Don't you know a guardian when you see one? Not when he's what? stealing my Do shit. You know no. <laughs> Oh god, I hate him already. You got a problem with that? We volunteered to train you two when we were asked by HQ. Okay, if they asked you to, you're not volunteer. I thought that was a translation error. You should be thankful. I don't but you didn't have to leave me in my underwear in the middle of the city like that. <laughs> That was a pretty good one, huh? Oh my god, this kid's voice just grates on me. Alright. That's enough. Now. Why did this kid have to be introduced? Like. Yes. Oh god. Tony Orima. Okay. Okay, and there's a... Uh... <sighs> okay, why is why are people making such a big deal out of having visited all three planets? <laughs> is it accomplishment? Yes. One last closing comment, going back to the close thing earlier. This isn't really about what I my idea, but there is one thing I kind of found it sort of found it weirdly interesting. Aren't there elevators we can take? Oh yeah, but when pe people's uh like I notice on myself when when I'm just casually around is that they show more and behind than on front. Weirdly interesting. I don't know. I kind of wonder why that is. Mm, might be some sociological research on it. You know, do a Google search. <laughs> See what you can find in scholarly articles. Because pants or jeans or whatever should fit you the same all around. I am not an expert in clothing design, so I can't really comment. Yeah, I'll Google search it. But it's just interesting that whenever they do shows more in the back than... <laughs> Yay! Random mode two. Ethan, you better watch yourself. You've got a stalker. And she's watching that ass. <laughs> Motube has some interesting environments. Um, well, oh. I say interesting. The city itself that you go to here is probably the most interesting. And I don't know why they why they make you pick here. 
things. It's like, this would be so much easier and would not involve, would involve one less loading screen if you just went, if it just, you just went through the gate and it asked you, do you want to go to Motu? Dagoda City, Central District. Yeah. The city is probably the most visually interesting environment on Motube. It's also got a really interesting layout. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot. Is it Dagoda or Dagora? Dagora. Because it's D A G O R A. Bunch of Bulgarians. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> And there's shops we can check out here as well. Uh, Tenora works us here. Yep, which is heavy on the attack power. Right. Now, so all the names here, are, they're Japanese, right? Uh, Japanese inspired? Because I know... So I thought uh, this game originated in Japan. Yes. <laughs> but one thing interesting... One interesting thing I... Uh, one, I really like when translations occur. Like in Digimon Data Squad, the anime, not the game, they all the references to Japanese things, they translated over and they changed it to American references. Well, yeah, you gotta change some of the cultural references, otherwise people won't get it. Um. Oh, Ethan, I master of foot in mouth. He's really got to see a doctor about that chronic condition. The one thing I don't really like about translations is that they, uh... It's not so much the producers, but the networks that they ban or severely edit a lot of episodes. Um, mostly that's... yeah. Like, like the, um... Do you remember the Legend of Dratini episode from Pokemon, the one with the guns? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. That got banned, but it was translated. Had it was four kids that banned it, not the translators. Yep, four kids is responsible for a lot of things like that. Uh, they're infamous for it. Although I understand they're slightly better about it now. Which means that the U.S. found nothing wrong with the guns. It was four kids itself. We're here to investigate a recent rash of kidnappings. I mean, I know they're different companies, but I find it funny. They allow Tom and Jerry that has guns and violence and Looney Tunes. What is that? Yeah. I know they're oldies, but still. Oh, hello. That's a familiar face. <laughs> or like there was a scene... Do you remember the... Um, the, uh... Do you remember the, the first episode of Digimon where Devimon appeared and they got tricked into that house? In the first season? Vaguely. There was a scene deleted in the US version where it showed the kids' butts. But... Let me introduce myself. Which I find ironic that they, in the English version, they removed that scene that showed their butts. However, there are plenty of episodes of Rugrats and Spongebob that show butts. Yep. So, as long as there's a... It's completely different production companies. Right. But what I was trying to... But what the idea gave me is that it, if there are butts shown and it's in a U.S. original, then it's fine. But if it's a dub thing, then it's not. Well, no, not necessarily. That's the idea like I, I said, got. it's, it's right. just different companies. <sighs> oh, hey, hologram. mine has been closed off for 20 years. Abandoned until recently, that is. So that's where you believe the kidnapper is hiding. But yeah, I, I don't... You need to I wish they... My friends are among those missing. Please bring them back. Like there's the ever so famous uh quest. Do you happen to know Dr. Derek? Like the really famous man in Pokemon, the Electric Soldier Porygon. Oh yeah. Personally, I think they could have just put a warning, a heavy, heavy warning, a, a mandatory warning that shows it in the episode and not just before the. So that way it shows each time the episode shows. He he was. Or but like in Digimon Data Squad, they uh. Change Rice Greymon's revolver sound from a uh, actual gun sound to a um, laser sound. Yeah, that's been the typical method of censoring guns like that. Doctor. And any any scenes that had the revolver pointed straight at the camera removed. <sighs> yeah, people are weird. And then there was one thing where it showed uh, Rosamon. 
changed it into like a final blast mode, and it involves her a really big close up of her boobs. Of course it does. And they removed it in one episode, but strangely enough, they didn't remove it in another one. Another one. Any number of possible explanations. Like in or part of um. Lalamon's evolution, digivolution to Rosamon was removed because it showed a close-up of her breasts and uh, hips. Yep. Amazing the lengths people will go to. The last time I checked, boobs and hips aren't sexual organs. They're sexualized, though. That's the problem. Alright. So after this mission is over, can we just burn Tonya's partner <laughs> card? <laughs> but yeah, I just find it how amazing that his voice is just so grating. I just find it interesting how different companies are like uh what was it? Oh, Nickelodeon's I Carly had had a bunch of boob jokes, pointy boob jokes about Miss Briggs. Do we want to check out the equipment first? No. You know, personally, if you ask me, there should be one universal uh, editing rule for well, each company to follow. Except that's not really practical now, is it? And I don't think we have those people in our party anyway. I thought I added them! No, I guess I didn't. Yeah. No. I'll give you a hand if I'm bored. Man, he's a prick. Alright, what have we got? You guys have a really interesting okay, shop design. Can I help you? Pretty cool, actually. Looks like a jail. Uh, it's supposed to look more industrial, Let's like a again. factory. Welcome, welcome. Uh, take a look around. Can I help you? Sword, spear, twin sabers. Or uh, can we? Come well, we just know know that these are going to be better, so I guess... Yeah, um, I'm... Okay. Please come again. Yeah, see, they focus more on techniques and, uh... On, on attack and technique power, and less on yeah. full time points. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, a bit more raw power. didn't like the way I was on network mode on, well, at least, at least, uh, they got better about it, um, near when the servers closed, but people didn't like that, that I was an all-neutral guy. Mm. Well, having a little bit of elemental specialization is not a bad idea, especially since it, you're basically, like, supposed to be. It's just that my, my idea was that I, I didn't have to worry about what element to use if I all, already, uh, if I just use neutral. Well, I, and I think part of it was probably that, um, all of the really high-end weapons were elementally specialized, so they may have been concerned that you're not, you weren't actually, like, you, you were deliberately limiting yourself. This 
is the only boring part about Let's Plays. Mm, yeah, all the management in between. Please come again. Alrighty. Do we need any... Well, oh, right, that's the uh, upgrades. Can I get you anything today? Oh, and that comes with some darkness defense. That's nice. And a body slot. Welcome. Can I get you anything today? Thank you for your business. Welcome to my store. What can I help you with today? Your patronage is always welcome. Welcome to my store. What can I help you with today? So we can go with either defense or evasion. Defense. Stella Guard. Welcome. There we go. How may I help you? Don't need any items. Thank you. Wow, that burned a lot of money. 